Hello. In this video, I'm going to show an example of how to classify a shape uh, by calculating the slopes of its sides. So here's a question. We're supposed to consider the quadrilateral ABCD, and then they give us the coordinates for the points. A is negative 3, 1, B is 2, 2, C is 3, negative 2, and D is negative 2, negative 3. And then we're supposed to decide, is ABCD a trapezoid? Is it a parallelogram? Is it a rectangle? Okay, so let's start off by getting a sketch of this, because if we don't make a sketch, there's a good chance we'll make some mistakes in calculations and not even have any idea that we've messed up. So we'll start with A is the point negative 3, 1. So about there. B is 2, 2. C is 3, negative 2. And D is the point, negative 2, negative 3. So it's kind of hard to know from the sketch. It looks, it looks like maybe it's a parallelogram. These sides look like they have about the same slope, and those ones do. If it's a parallelogram, that means it's also a trapezoid, because a trapezoid has one pair of opposite sides parallel, so one pair of opposite sides with the same slope. Um, and a parallelogram has two pairs, so all parallelograms are trapezoids. It doesn't really look like a rectangle. These don't look like right angles, but it's also hard to tell. Uh, clearly my sketch isn't perfect. Uh, so, we'll calculate. So what we're going to do is calculate the slopes of all the sides. Uh, so we've got to be real organized here. So the first thing I'll do AB first, the slope of A to B. Now, as I do this, I'm going to have to label, choose which one of these will be the first point and the second point. And that's probably going to change a bit as I go around. So I'll write it on and then scribble it out as we go. Maybe I'll write it down in pink. So for right now, I'll have point A be x1, y1, and B will be x2, y2. So the slope of AB, the formula is change in y, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2, that's 2 minus 1 over 2 minus negative 3. So that's 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the slope of AB is 1 fifth. That makes sense. It's a positive slope. It goes up and to the right. And it also looks, it's pretty flat. It's pretty close to zero. So 1 fifth is pretty small. So that's quite a reasonable answer. Okay, next we'll find the slope of BC. We'll just go around the shape like this. Um, now normally actually we might call this X1, Y1, but because it's already written there, it doesn't matter what order we use. Maybe I'll call this one X1, Y1. And that will save me having to scribble things up. So the slope is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we've got 2 minus negative 2 over 2 minus 3. So that's 2 plus 2 over 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So that's 4 over negative 1, which is negative 4. All right, so here's what we actually know already. We know that these are not, these lines are not perpendicular. If they were perpendicular, they would be negative, the slopes would be negative reciprocals. So they'd be upside down of each other and opposite signs. 
So they're actually really close. The negative reciprocal of one fifth, so we'd flip it upside down and change the sign, and we get negative five, and the slope is negative four. So they are pretty close to perpendicular, but they're not perpendicular. All right, slope of CD is next. And I'll use that x1, y1, and this will be x2, y2. So our slope formula, I would strongly suggest that you write it down every single time. Just because for a lot of people that's the best way to memorize the formula. So y2 is negative 3 minus negative 2 over negative 2 minus 3. That's negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 subtract 3 is negative 5. So we have negative divided by negative, so that's positive. So it's 1 fifth. So right now what that tells us, a, B, the slopes of A, B, and C, D are the same. So that means these lines are parallel. Alright, we've got one last one to do, A, D. So it's Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And these, uh, these are conveniently labeled 1 and 2, so that'll work fine. y2, x negative 3, subtract 1 over negative 2, subtract negative 3. So that is negative 3, subtract 1, that's negative 4. And then this is negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3, that's 1. So negative 4 divided by 1. Negative 4 divided, maybe I'll write that down, negative 4 divided by 1. And so that's negative 4. So now we've got that the slope of BC is the same as the slope of DA or AD. So this is perfect. These means That means that these are parallel. So notice that my first set of parallel lines, I've used one arrow. So everything that I mark with one arrow would be parallel to these. But because these two lines are parallel to each other, but not to the first two, I'll mark them with two arrows. If I had another set of parallel lines, maybe that looked like this, I might mark them with three arrows, and so on. Okay, so here's what we've got. A, B, C, D is a trapezoid. So the first question was, is it a trapezoid? Right. Because the slopes, um, let's see. Because it has, I'll make this the same thing, this should be a lowercase b. It's a trapezoid because it has pair of opposite sides with the same slope. So they're parallel. Alright, to save space here, I'll put B right here. Maybe I'll put A in a box. B in a box. B asked us, is it a parallelogram? And it is a parallelogram. We've decided that the opposite sides are parallel. And we just have to explain how we decided that. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides have the same slope.
so they're parallel. Let's make a mark of these. They're the same. And these are the same. Now part C asked us, is, a, is it a rectangle? Now it's not a rectangle because we don't have any perpendicular sides. And the way that we know we don't have perpendicular sides is that we don't have any slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. A, B, C, D is not a rectangle. No slopes. And negative reciprocals. So no sides are perpendicular. Okay, so again, just to review, if you want to classify uh, shapes with their slopes, uh, often what we'll, what we'll usually do is calculate the slopes. Um, calculate the slopes of all the sides, make sure you do it in a nice organized way, and then compare. What do the slopes tell you about each other? If the, you have the slopes that are the same, the sides are parallel. If sl slopes are negative reciprocals, then sides are perpendicular. Alright, good luck.